Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd of welcome to Manufactoria 2022, a puzzle programming game all about putting together adorable robots, which, depending on which bits of the internet you hang out on, and how long you've been hanging out there, you may or may not have heard of, because uh, though this is pretty new to Steam, Manufactoria, the original, as I understand it, was uh, once upon a time a pretty well-known Flash game online, though I never came across it myself, so uh, to me, this is all brand new, which is deeply concerning, because uh, as I say, this is a robot programming game. So let's say my robot friend starts at the top and needs to go down to the bottom. Well, we could just say, hey, here's some conveyor belts. Brilliant. The problem is, as I say, the robot needs to be programmed as he goes. So, say I was taking these instructions a bit too literally, and the robot needed three blue blobs in order to be successful. Well, that's okay. We could just pop down some blue blobs, go back over to not blobbing, and there we go. One, two, three, and in it goes. But on this occasion, no. One, I need 17 blobs, and that's not going to work. I literally don't have 17 spaces. And two, the robot's starting off, as you can see at the bottom here, with red blobs. This is a reprogramming challenge. Which is where the logic gates come into play. So, the logic gates basically are fitted onto this lovely erasing machine. If the robot's instruction bar is empty, it gets pushed straight forward to where the white arrow is pointing. If the first instruction is red, then that red gets taken off and the robot moves over to the left. If it's blue, then it gets struck off and the robot moves to the right. So on this occasion, I can just, you know, run the machine right now. So robot detects red and gets shoved in that direction. With one less red, but it fell on the floor, which you're not allowed to do. The robots are delicate. So let's figure this out here, which is we need to form a loop. So say, for example, I was to do this, then... If I'm right, what should happen at this point is... Uh, okay, put an ending over there. Machine goes here. Red is removed, uh, goes over. Blue gets stamped in its place, and then it keeps going around uh, and around uh, and around some more. So here we go. Yep, red replaced with blue. Red replaced with blue, and then we can just speed up time, which is beautiful. And then... The problem we've got here is... Uh, it had one less blue than it was supposed to. The final process there, yeah, put it in having deleted a, a blue. Okay, that we can fix. There's one more improvement we can make too, which is, uh, yes, we don't need this over here. Because we could just feed it straight back in over and over again. So, run that machine now. So there we go, red gets removed, uh, and now we're basically cycling through the instructions, uh, stripping the red, uh, putting the blue in its place. There we go, goes in, receives the final stamp, gets put in the hole, and I have one. Which is fine, except now the game's taunting me and saying there's a way to do it with only two stampers uh, and uh, only a two by two grid. Okay, how would that be done? Okay, hang about here. If I just put the robot straight onto the one and now only stamper, it gets one stamp immediately and then starts being, yeah, passed around in a circle. That means I could put this here, but that's not good enough for two by two and four. Like, okay, it gets me one stamper. That's fine. Like, if I just, uh, you know, wrap that and just complete that immediately but it could still be more efficient when it comes to area. And I am not smart enough to figure out how to do it, which is doubly concerning because, as you may guess from the garage surrounding, this is the tutorial. This is one of the basic tutorial missions designed to introduce you to the basics of the game. So that bodes well, doesn't it? So welcome to the game proper. And uh, yes, things are gonna start getting harder fast. So uh, what's gonna happen now is I'm going to be fed a series of robots with a, a random selection of uh, random instructions in their instruction bar. My job is to accept, i.e. put into the final accept hole, 
any robot with an even number of instructions. Doesn't matter whether they are, you know, say, blue, red, anything. As long as the combined total is even, they get accepted. Otherwise, they get jumped. And that means using, yes, this like a uh, little flame pit over here. But I don't have a count function. All I've got beyond what you've already seen is, uh, yes, I've got a pipe so you can have um, paths crossing each other using the crossover piece there. But all right, this is fine. I can figure this out. All right, it's got to be done with uh, these logic gates because, uh, well, there's nothing else it can be. So slap one right here. Even counts as good uh, according to the instructions. So that means put an accept hole right there. In the event that yes, it passes straight through here, so the bar is empty, instructions are zero, robot gets accepted. In the event that it goes in any direction, that means there is at least one instruction, but not necessarily one, it might be more than one. And now, the opposite applies. So, if it got sorted in either direction, that means it had one instruction. But then if it John, those need to be the other way round. But now if they pass through, they are definitely to be burnt, because they had one and only one instruction. Now the key's going to be at this point. Do I have a way of feeding this straight back in to here? Because now if what I do is I put you to here, then does that mean the same thing applies? So, yes. Zero, accepted. One, gets binned. Two, gets looped around. Two, accepted. Three, gets binned. That works. That should be... That should be perfect. Then we're just looping it round and round and round again. So, okay. Run. So, oh, blimey. Okay, in the real game, it then runs, yes, yeah, several thousand times, uh, and it works. Okay, on to the next challenge here. So, uh, except only robots with uh, three blue in a row, anywhere in the tape. Junk the rest. So, uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's start off with uh, the same basic idea, though it scares me that the floor is now this big. Because that implies that uh, this is going to be uh, far more complicated. In the event it passes uh, straight through, that means uh, it needs to get on this occasion, yes, destroyed. Because that means uh, there's not three blue, because there's nothing at all. So in the event of red, just feed it back into the start. Because if it doesn't find anything the second time, that means yes, in the event that it is uh, one red uh, and nothing else, then... Uh, it gets spotted, it gets stripped out, gets sent back in, nothing's there, now it gets burned. That's, that's fair and correct. So, uh, now what we need to do is, yeah, complete the logic for three. So, if it goes right, and then if it keeps going in this direction, flip it up to here, say, that is going to be two, and then, say, three. We might need to interfere with this a little bit to stop, uh, yes, infinite loops. But hang about. Just for the time being, pop that there. One blue is located. All right. A second blue needs to be located. That is good. Otherwise, uh, we need to feed you... No, actually, we need to feed you uh, straight back in. Think about this here. Flip it round. In the event it's red, send it back to the start. That's good. In the event there is nothing, does that need to be sent? Yes, if there's nothing, it needs to be... At that point, it can just be burnt. That's that's fine. Take you away and take you away too. All right, don't worry about that. And then... If this one fails, then at that point, we need to say, okay, flip it again. So you come over here. That is victory right there. In the event of white, that can just be, that can be a burn right there. That's, that's all absolutely fine. Then in the event of red here, we've got to loop you back around to the start. So, actually, get rid of you, 
flip it over, move you to here, then we can use you to loop back around to the start. That's pretty bloody efficient, I think. Like, does that work? This may or may not work. Let's see how good my brain is. And... I mean, it's processing. Holy flip, my brain's actually useful on occasion. Okay, that, that actually worked. I'm going to be honest, I'm doing better at this game than I thought I was going to. Remove the first two commands from the front of the tape, reverse them, and put them at the back of the tape. I'm going to die. Okay, there aren't that many patterns, because we're only dealing with red and blue. We're talking a split between red and blue, then red goes red or blue, and then blue goes red or blue. In which case, could I just manually hack this? So, blue, then blue, then, okay, technically, you've been reversed, but oh. Oh, that's the trick, isn't it? In the event that it's a duplicate, you don't need to reverse it. It's already, oh, John, you're a cocking genius. Because there's only two, two of the scenarios simply don't need to have reversing done to them. The only scenario where reversing needs to be done is red-blue or blue-red. Otherwise, it's functionally the same, right? I mean, oh, okay, I'm a genius, as it turns out. So this one's red-blue, therefore it needs to go blue into red. So, okay, just put that there. And you were blue-red, so you need to go red into blue. Just pop you there, and then slap this down right here. That should work, right? Okay, I might just be a genius. It's hard to say. Let's just test, because no, it immediately broke. Why did it break? Well, Functionally, that's the same. Oh, I thought I was being so bloody clever, too. You see that there? That's just less elegant. I preferred my solution. My solution was better, damn it, and... Okay, so half-assing robots just isn't allowed. Honestly, I feel my solution was more elegant. I should get a special award for coming up with a better solution than the game did. Except robots that enter with a tape beginning and an ending with the same command. Everything else gets junked. In the event a robot has uh, nothing, that's okay, presumably, because it began with nothing, it ends with nothing. Though, maybe in this scenario that just won't happen. Everything that goes in this direction began with red, because this has to be the first thing that they end up being, yes, exposed to. Everything on this side that starts going into whatever I built here began with blue. There is, by the way, a really useful test program where you can literally enter any combination of anything. That lets me verify that actually a robot with zero should get dumped in the fire. Now I just need to come up with a system that basically says, yes, in the event that red then blue or blue then red, I need to create a loop that basically, yes, wears them down and strips them of everything. And the last one must be red or blue, respectively. Based on that result, that's how we should sift them. But the last result is always going to spit out from the whites. Okay, brain struggling to compute here, but if you go red, blue and then you're out, you should be dumped. If you are red, blue, red, and then you run out, you should be saved. If you are red, blue, blue, you go and get tested again. And then the same on the other side, but inverted. I estimate a 60% chance this is going to work. So, check the tape. Let's figure out what caused the problem? Red, red, blue. So that should have been dumped. Red. Okay. Get sent to red again. And John, why is that doing that? 
That shouldn't have done that, because that wasn't done yet. Okay. Hang about. Back. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of that as well. What if we just feed that back into this system? Yeah, if it keeps being red, it keeps bouncing back. And then when the red runs out, if it's a whole line of reds, then it goes in the success hole. But if it's a blue, it ends up being tested where the red gets shunted back up or blue gets shunted back onto the blue test. And if it fails on the blue test, this has got a 70% chance of working. And... Holy flip, my brain did not lie to me. But that was... That was tricky. And it's getting to the stage now where I think my brain gets it, but I'm not sure I do. Remove all blues. Okay, hang on. That should be... That shouldn't be too hard at all. Which makes me think it's going to be. So in the event there's nothing, then that passes. Uh, that's absolutely fine. And in the event of blue, just try again. Feed it back in. Because yes, this doesn't just feed this direction because of blue. It also removes the blue. So uh, shove it back in. But in terms of uh, red, then... Okay, hang on. What happens if I just... Okay, we're just going to run some tests here. Let's just shove everything in here. So, all right. What was the problem? A red went in here. Yes. And then... Delivered robot with incorrectly programmed tape. Why? Because... Oh, because we removed the red. Okay. In the event we get rid of a red, restore it. I mean, is it that simple? Hang about, just put that in and... Okay, no, 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 no. Red comes in, gets restored and... Uh, oh, then the robot's stuck in a loop. So, okay, extend the principle slightly, which is we say... Yes, you start here, then blue feeds back in on itself. A, yeah, blank is a pass. If it goes red, uh, we restamp the red. Uh, then we basically just set up the same thing again... Screw it, make it Rana. Okay, more robots pass. We got up to eight on this occasion. So, okay, just check the pattern. Red, blue, red, blue. So, it should have ended up as red and red. So, uh, lost its red, uh, got it stamped at the back. Detected blue. Blue was removed. Detected red. Uh, if I just take this pattern and basically make it go, in a big spiral, filling the entire space. That might be able to brute force this. Does anyone remember where this was supposed to begin? Because I don't anymore. Um, apparently I overwrote the beginning and... Okay, this, this is, this is fine. I think I can just replace this one with the start, right? Because then... Yes, if it's blank, it passes. Yeah, that's fine. Then it just acts as a normal conveyor belt. So this here, this is going to work for many, many test cases. A whole 23 before it... Oh, dear. All right, it replaced many blues with reds. But then it ran out of space. And oh, we were so close to... The problem is, oh, bloody hell, it goes up to 20 characters. Okay, so we can't just spaghetti code brute force it. I need to find an actual, you know, solution. Oh, hang on. I have just been staring at this and poking it for 20 minutes. But I think I understand. The key is... The pattern has to alternate. It can't do anything but alternate. And that means... In the event that there are two reds in a row... That means you're done. One way or another, you have to be done. Whether it's because you've got, say, only one red in the entire pattern, and that's it, it's just complete. Or whether it's because you had infinite blues mixed with your reds, but you've now got the blues out of the way. That would mean... That has to be victory. And you, buddy, could then just be looped back around to, to here to re-enter the... Does that work? 
This is like a 25% chance. But... I mean, we've made it. Holy flip, that actually worked. I was not convinced that was... That was going to be a thing. All right. The mistake there was not paying enough attention to the patterns. Okay, drunk on pride. I'm now going to attempt my first and probably only four-star difficulty challenge. So, on this occasion, between 0 and 18 in terms of starts, and it is going to be alternating. Again, everything needs to be doubled. So, therefore... Oh. That's... That's interesting. Like this here. This is going to do the job. It's going to basically, yes, make the whole thing go round in a loop. And we should end up with the correct thing, though. Hang on. Just going to a test here. So we know we're going to be getting alternating. Run the test. Make it happen nice and fast. And... Okay, hang on. Something went wrong there. So, why didn't you hang about just nice and slow, removed, and then, yep, yeah, in, and then blue, this should be two. Okay, yes, it was working, it only looked like three, because that's the one at the end, which is absolutely fine. And then blue happens, then you eat this one right here, but then the machine doesn't know how to stop. It just keeps going forever. The trick now is to catch when a double shows up. The first time a double passes through this, then, oh, flip me. In my head, I think I know how to solve this. That might not mean I actually do. Like, there might be a big removal from reality here. But this, I think, wait, just, just give me a second here. The machine tests for blue, and then it tests for red and blue. In the event that it sees red, then that means that we should still be doubling. So, on that occasion, I would like you to, yes, replace the red, and then double the blue. And then on the opposite side, same deal, but invert. So, replace the blue, and then... Yeah, double the red. After that, feed it back into the middle. If, however, the machine detects red into red, then that means it's just detected a double. And if it does that, then that means it needs to, well, it still needs to replace the red and replace the blue, right? But then that's going to be complete. Because at that point, it's detected doubling is occurring. He said, hang on, no. No, no, no. At that point, it needs to replace both the reds. Because if it passes this check or this check, that means it's now done. So that means it needs, okay, we need one, one more. You and then you to replace the two reds and two blues that were eliminated during the process. Right? Because I think this is right, and I think I'm a genius, and I'm like, I'm 85% sure this is going to work first time. Okay, so... Okay, aside from that, aside from that, okay, that, that was fine. That was just a bit of conveyor belt that was kind of missing. That barely even counts, to be honest. But this time... Okay, get it going. Okay, never mind. It needs a tiny bit of work. Okay, so these patches at the end. This is just for, yes, the really, really short numbers. So... Zero, that goes straight through. That's a success. One still needs to be doubled. So in which case, red one goes in this direction, gets wiped out. That therefore just needs to, okay, we can fit that into the existing system. Then that becomes two like that. And you become, okay, 80% sure this is now going to work and... 
Okay, there are still some small problems uh, that need to be fixed here. But okay, this is fine. We can now troubleshoot. So, uh, red, blue. This should have worked, right? So, okay. Red uh, gets detected. Uh, gets eliminated. No, it doesn't. Both of those get eliminated. And then... Red, red. And then the blue's still there. Right. So then the blue gets picked up. So it doesn't go this way. Yeah, replaces the red. It gives you the... That's correct. Detects the first red. Detects another red. Detects that. Then... It's backwards. Oh, cock. But hang on a minute. If I invert every single colour, what happens? Because now the logic is the same, but then again, I've just changed the... You've just changed the logic, John. So now... Give it a run! See what happens? No, then it immediately fails. Because now... A red's going to become too... Well, that's my brain done for today. And that there is Manufactoria 2022. And I can say with some level of confidence that there are two groups of people watching this video. There are the people who are just as confused as me, but are nonetheless enjoying laughing at my incompetence. And there are the people who haven't actually made it to the end of the video at all, because they've immediately bought this and are now playing it instead. This is a real Marmite game right here. But if you like your big, complicated logic gate puzzle games, oh yeah. This is going to scratch that itch for you. For me, it might be a bit too much. My brain's given up. It's gone home for the day. I can't figure out what is wrong with that damn machine. But if you can, this might well be the game for you. Well worth a look -see. Link in the description below. And yes, indeed, if we are very, very lucky indeed, it won't be too long until another puzzle game comes along that breaks my flipping brain. Hopefully, you're looking forward to that. But in the meantime... I've been John. This has been many a true nerd. And this has been Manufactoria 2022. Thank you very much, and goodbye. Jebediah Kerman has not exploded. Oh shit. Why did that happen? Five, four, three. Oh, I forgot to turn the thrust on. Five, four. Is everything else? How is everything? Up to that point, that was going better than anyone expected.